Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a delicious alternative to tomatillo. So for all of my friends that are allergic to tomatillo and you wanna indulge in some green salsa verde or a lot of the Mexican uh, green style dishes, you guys are really gonna love this one because this one's a little bit tart. The only problem you guys might have is that it's difficult to find, but if you have a good Mexican uh, grocery store that just continuously carries great and new items, you guys will be able to find this one. So I'm excited to show you. Now let's get a bowl and get a bowl. You go cheat, the más falta que mija. No, se lo quiero. Nice one. I introduce you to Choconotsle. Let's say that again. Choconotsle. Choco nozle. Perfect. So you're going to find some choco nozle and you're going to confuse it for a prickly pear. Don't do that. See, these are smooth. You don't have any of the pokiness. Now, if you go to the grocery store and you buy a prickly pear, you're going to have some of the pokies. You're going to find that these are going to come in different tones. So you have the bright green and then it has some of the soft, gentle, like pinky orange color. Mm -hmm. You see that? It's still cactus fruit, but it's not the prickly pear, right? That you're used to seeing in like your drinks and jams and all that. No, ma'am. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to, I'm going to cut this. Okay. Cause we have a little surprise in here. Oh, we do. There is a beautiful surprise with seeds and yes, you can eat those seeds. These are high in on antioxidants. So you just got to scoop it out. Um, what are you? What are you using? What is that? A serrated spoon? It's my cucharita. It's my grapefruit spoon. <laughs> Have you ever seen Dirty Dancing Girl when they're eating their grapefruit? <laughs> yeah. Or like a lot of Mexican novelas? <laughs> so you can just scoop them out with any kind of spoon, knife. But who wants a taste? You want a taste? Take some. Thank you. I want to hear you crunch. Mm-hmm. They're really hard. It's just a little bit of fruit in it. Don't give these to kids. So these seeds are like, actually watermelon seeds are a lot softer. These are going to be a little tough, but there's just the slight amount of meat around that you can, you know, consume that. It's going to be up to you. And it also depends on how ripe your uh, choconotes lays. So that's what you want to do. You want to make sure you scoop out that stuff. Okay. Something that works for you. I like the little round ones because they're easy to like just scoop out. So just peel it however it's easier for you. So we're going to peel it two ways and then that way you guys can decide which route you're going to take. Okay. You're going to be wondering, Steph, what does this taste like? It's not slimy like a nopal. It's not that kind of cactus flavor, but it does have a tart flavor. So when you're making your salsas, with this particular um, ingredient, you wanna take it easy on your lime juice, okay? That's why I, I'm just gonna tell you guys what to put in it, but the lime juice is to taste for that reason. Because the fruit's sour? It can be, and it just depends because um, I like really sour things. Yes, and for do. example, my sister is more of a sweetheart. And that's where you gotta meet in the middle. Sorry, I'm in the zone already. Look at me, I'm <laughs> chopping it up, girl. For those of you that are watching this and cleaning, better get it, it's holiday season. You don't want the soy to come over <laughs> and see your house all messy. <laughs> do your own stunts. Yep, do your own stunts. Thankfully, Cloud and I hang out enough that she is no stranger to helping me with my stunts. No, I'm not a stranger to helping anyone. Like I said, I all show up with the with the Tupperware and I'll help you clean, but you gotta feed me. Yep. And then um, if you want to try this other route to peel it, you can. It's a lot smoother. I like these little round ones because they're a lot smoother to do this with. But if you guys aren't sure why I'm sharing this with you, because we have a large generation of people that are allergic to tomatillo. And if you're allergic to tomatillo, what are you allergic to? Because does it have um, 
Latex? Yeah. See? That was a lot easier. Now scoop it out. Scoop it out. Cloudy, scoop it out. You scoop, scoop it out. <laughs> Somebody's gonna say, Steph, why don't you just use your potato pillar? Guess what? We'll try that right now. We're here to have fun today, guys. And for those of you that are all nestled up sick, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Oh, I'll get better soon. Get better soon. We have uh, the flu season going around. The boys, good Lord, that was interesting, but we made it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so let me try out the potato pillar for you guys. We're gonna have a little fun here. Thank you, next, next, thank you, next, next. I feel like I engage better like with a knife. Me too. But I'm hoping I can surprise you this coming up year, friends. I have a lot of goals for us here on the channel. And one of them is for you guys to meet my mother. My Aries mother. <laughs> We're still at it with that. <laughs> and the other one is to continue to, to cook, right? Lord. That's what we do. That's right. That's where all the fun happens. Because you and me, we're in a club. You guys know I'm corny. We like to cook, and that's what <laughs> I love about hanging out with you guys. You're like, Steph, you upload every day. Yeah, we hang out every day. I cook every day. And I know what it's like for um, for families and everything where you're just like, what am I going to make for dinner? You know? Yeah. Like, there's days when I just have the boys. I'm like, look through the channel and let me know what you want to eat. It's decision fatigue at its finest. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue to peel all the choconotle and then we're gonna give it a little taste on its own and we're gonna start with the molcajete, okay? Because there's something about a salsa when you make it in a molcajete that it just tastes a lot better. Yes or no? I agree. What do you guys think? I vote for yes. Tu? Molcajete. Molcajete. Imagine if I uh, start peeling this with the grizzly, the grizzly knife that I have. Girl, that's for surgery, that knife. <laughs> <laughs> your man's awesome. He's like, here, protect yourself. Here's a knife, state of the art, specially made for your hands, and I'm gonna teach you how to use it. Like, how crazy is he? <laughs> He's so funny, because if I have any kind of complaint about something, like a uh, cool gadget, because we like outdoorsy stuff, and I like gadgets. I like, I like outdoorsy gadgets, not like the fake stuff, mm -hmm. and, um, or like buy this to cl to glamping, you know that oh, kind of God. stuff. But um, so he'll switch up the the knives for me. And this last one looks like I don't know, girl. It has like a little point. It's you, just you pretty. You can do some crazy stuff with that knife. That's pretty intense. I can see you camping using it to uh, to cut up a chicken or something. <laughs> He's so, he's so funny though, because he'll get the boys and then he'll do tactical stuff. Mm -hmm. And then he'll have them, um, like when you walk into a room, mm -hmm. he'll have them make observations and see what they observed in that room. Whoa. Like it's intense. Like I they're going to negotiate with the police? Uh, Hostage negotiation? Yeah, he really, head. like, hey, he's teaching his kids what he knows. That's what it's about, right? Teaching our kids what they know. They mm -hmm. don't know, right? Okay. That one had a little bit of a soft spot. So if you get a soft spot, just cut it out. It should be okay. I actually really like the feeling of cutting it in half and mm -hmm. taking the seed. I love that feeling. Because it's almost like, like you're cutting into a seed, but it's soft. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mexico, for this delicious choconotzle. Mm Now we're gonna go ahead and taste these different colors so that I can tell you if you're at the store and you see the green, green one, what kind of flavor you're gonna get and what you're gonna get from a little bit of a softer one, okay? Have it. See, this one's really, really green. Mm -hmm. This one's super green, so let's slice. The greener they are, the more sour they are. Well, this is the first time our friends have it, Cloud. Why are you ruining it? What the heck? I that person will ruin everything. No. That's so good. Yeah. Super tart. 
That instantly made me want carne asada. And that's amazing if you put some chilito and lime on it too. Mm -hmm. Okay, aquí me quedó una cosita. This one was a super soft one. It's citrusy with a little bit of a sweeter taste. Mm -hmm. So. More of an earthy taste too. Mm. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. In my mouth. I don't know what that makes You know when you start salivating? Mm -hmm. That's so good. All right, friends. So that's the flavor we're looking for. Now it's time to use our wonderful molcajete. Friends, you want to be very careful with whatever knife you're using. And you just want to do a thin slice, okay? Let me see if I can get it for you guys. It has to be done really thin because if you guys don't do it this thin, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was like, what? Chop it as fine or as chunky as you want. Okay. I hope you guys that are chopping at home are tucking those fingers in. <laughs> that was one of the first things that my mother taught me when I was watching her in the kitchen. Because I wanted to help. I, yeah, I wanted to help and I was like, you know, full blown baby staff. Ooh, something sharp. <laughs> I was always into something. Okay. So we'll just continue to chop up our chocolate. And if you guys haven't noticed yet, I really like saying that word. <laughs> so I want all my friends I love to uh, give me their opinions about the way that I pronounce things to tell to send me a send me a clip on how you pronounce chocolate. Okay. And then here's the thing, you guys have to remember that. Like in a year, you'll have to remember how to pronounce that. I have a very wise friend that once told me that he's never made fun of people's um, language, like their clear accent or things like that, because he says that that means that that person speaks a language that he doesn't. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I have a lot of respect for that. And he's like, I only speak English. So when I hear other people, you know, with their accent or pronouncing things, he's like, I, I would never dream of correcting their English because they know their languages that I don't. I was like, you know what? That's a good way to put that. That's really, that's a really good way to put it. Uh -huh. You know, when I was younger, I would giggle. Okay, I'm a little kid. So if I heard an accent that was so different from mine, like mm -hmm. even some things in like English, I would just giggle. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was a kid. Fun. But now as an adult, I try to teach my kids, you know, we're, we're a mixed family. So it's interesting, fun. Yes, guys, I'm really enjoying chopping it up right now. I hardly ever chop anything on the channel anymore. All right. Now we're going to chop up our chile. You can use a serrano. You can use a jalapeno. It's going to be up to you. But today we're going to, we're feeling spicy. We're going to kick it up with those seeds. Yeah. For those of you that don't enjoy the spice, let me give you a little tip that might help. Take out the seeds. Put a little salt in your water and put the chilies in there for about five minutes and then drain them out and then chop it up. That should help you a little bit. That should be a crime, that tip that you gave them. It should, but that's, I have... That's criminal. Hey, I have a lot of friends that have been brave. They're engaging in more Mexican spicy food and you're, you're learning what the joy is of the chili. It's not so much the chili. If you're eating Mexican food and all you can taste is a chili, somebody didn't do it right. There has to be a good amount of flavor to balance out your chili. Yep. That's not how it should taste. Yep. And here's the thing. When you put it in the molcajete, you don't have to chop it up this fine. I'm just really enjoying chopping right now. So you can just do big chunks because you're going to break it down with that um, volcanic rock anyways. Okay. Garlic. You know one of the most useless things I've ever purchased? What it is? No. Yes, what? I'm going to say it. You guys want to know? Yes. Let me tell you. Good Lord. I'm not going to get worked up about it, I promise. One of the most useless things that I've purchased is a garlic press. You guys remember where uh, cooking channels were just advertising the press? And I purchased it and I'm like, really? Like, why? <laughs> I just paid like almost $19 for that thing. Horrible. You were not happy. 
Cilantro. I think cilantro is a must for green salsa, but I know some of you like don't like the soapiness of it. Just skip it. <laughs> Just skip Just it. Leave it out. <laughs> and as far as our citrus, this is going to be up to you. Blend everything first. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once you blend everything and you taste it and if it's too sour for you, then you probably don't want to use this one. Just take it easy. Now it's time. The time is now, Cloud. All right. So you're going to start with the garlic? Monday. Are you going to start with the garlic? Yeah, how did you know? <laughs> how did you know? Because it's a piece of salsa. The onion and the garlic. Mm -hmm. Well, I just need to go in my little pile. <laughs> You, the thing is, guys, that I get bored real easy, so if you see that I don't do things like other chefs, well, I'm not a professionally trained chef, but I am a chef. What's mm -hmm. up? <laughs> and I just get bored, so I have to switch it up often. Y le tienen que dar. Mash it down a little bit. And then once you mash it, you start. Tienen que dar. I know you guys are waiting for my mole recipe, which is normal. Bring it. Just know we've been having all the fights behind the scenes on this one. I don't want to do the work, I'll be honest. And it's not even that much work. It's just, girl, it's a serious issue with mole. You can't just throw mole and give it to people. There's people that like savory, there's like sweet, and there's some people that like it in the middle. I agree. And me, what kind of person am I? Uh, savory. I am a savory mole lover. I like a balance of both. I don't like it sweet. So that's that's what we got going on right now, guys. Cloud and I really do talk about you guys. We mm -hmm. only want the best for you. Yep. And for those of you that don't know, mole is the national dish in, in Mexico. So we want to make sure that... When we give you the recipe that's been passed down to us, they, you take really good care of it. And my, the thing is that my um, my great grandmother, I think she had the same. She's a Cancerian lady, so she had the same uh, similar flavor palette that I do. Oh yeah, so. yeah. I mean, you can taste it in your guys' cooking. All right, friends, I'm gonna be here for a minute, so hang tight. Really? This is where you're going to edit to fast forward? <laughs> Mine, you're really getting that cebolla. I am. Girl, I'm going to cry. Oh. Who's crying with me? Not me. You don't believe me? Come look at my eyes. I'm a llorona. But not that kind of Yorona. Don't be rude, guys. <laughs> not the real one. Kids, but. this is the real Yorona your parents warned you about. <laughs> there she is. You know what? They say that um, people that are jealous can't chop onions and you guys, I'm fierce. <laughs> <laughs> so I think there has to be some truth to that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if your family doesn't like onions, just break it down a little bit more. I need to clean these eyes. Bendito. Oh. Cloudy, ready? You just got ready? Next ingredient. Soy como el chile verde, llorona, llorona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that don't know, llorona is a crybaby. No, 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 no. You guys don't believe what it is. Well, that's a literal translation. Damn, that's for the sweet right, girl. <laughs> That's aggressive. That's amazing. Nothing like having your salsa or your guacamole done right next to you. Mm -hmm. Ooh! All right, next. Let me grind a little bit of this cilantro. A lot. You guys say I use too much aluminum. Well, why do you think I use so much cilantro? Balance it out. You're using a molcajete. Add some salt. It's gonna help you grind it. Grinding. Your children fell over here. Don't worry. <laughs> Somebody that really hates cilantro is probably like, no, you didn't, you sicko. I love cilantro. I know. 
Harm my tears. Okay, the onion one, look at, look at my eye. <laughs> That's from the crying. Okay, what I'm gonna say to you guys is that you can roast your choconotle on a pan and just kind of like you would a chile a little bit and then you can peel it if you want it more of a cooked way. Now, if you don't have a preference, you can just throw it in here and handle it that way. But for, I'm gonna need a little bit of this salsa for something I'm gonna be making later and um, I'm not gonna be cooking it over my stove top. You know, my histe, yeah, Mika. No, I'm, I'm nodding my head, yes. Okay. So now, when you have. It's so much fun to use a molcajete. It is. I'm going to start adding a little bit at a time, okay? Just so I can mash it up. You notice that once you grind it, you get all that juice that comes out and it's green. Oh my goodness, you guys are in for a treat. So once you've ground down everything, just start incorporating everything together, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and continue to add my salt. And that's gonna be to taste. Again, depending on your uh, levels of sourness, that's how you wanna adjust. You guys haven't noticed, I love tearing things up, so <laughs> this is up my alley. <laughs> yeah, if you're serving this at a party, like as like just chips and salsa type of thing, your guests will have no idea. They will not know. They will not know that you didn't use tomatillo. But they'll get an idea that like it's something's different. With the taste of it. Slightly. So good. When you guys try this, if you've never tried it, you're gonna be like, Steph, we know what that tastes like, and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> yep. It's a game changer though in your salsa game for sure. Sure is. Now that our salsa is ready for tasting, I wanna let you guys know that I didn't use any lemon in this particular salsa. And you guys are gonna find that depending on your tart levels, that you're just gonna be like, I really don't need it. And honestly, I'm gonna tell you guys the truth. I like chocorosa better than tomatillo, straight out. It doesn't have that floral strong scent, but it's just so refreshing. Let's go ahead and give this a delicious taste. Baby, we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. I see that. Yes. Some delicious corn chips. Yes, yes. <laughs> We've been craving this one. I have. I have a lot of tricks under this sleeve, friends, so. Under Open apron. up. Yeah, under the, I have a lot of things under this apron. I just gotta say that. There you go, sis. Thank you so much. I wanna wait for your tasting. Mmm. Cloud's yeah. not a huge sour lover, Pero so. Pero Mexico. Así se siente Mexico mm -hmm. en la piel. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Let me try and get the perfect bite. That's what I'm trying to go for. No re nada. Why am I even playing? You guys know I shove my face. I'm not into like tart stuff, sour stuff when it doesn't have flavor. This has a lot of flavor. Mm. It's my favorite salsa. You guys already know. Once you have one chip and salsa, anything goes. So on that one, thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Adios. A ver, otra, otra, otra. Mm -hmm. Girl, heaven. Bring us up, girl. Well, sorry, I got you dirty, Cloud. It's okay. You got yourself dirty, too. You don't want to talk about that. Oh, when you didn't put the lid on your coffee and you thought you did? Let me tell you guys what happened. If you guys are still here, you're going to hear my mitote. So we're out of sugar at the house and my husband, nobody wanted to go to the grocery store and he's like, well, I'll just go pick us up some coffee so we can start our day. So he picks us up our coffee, I come back, you know, get ready. Got cold, so I warmed it up, put the lid on it. Apparently I didn't seal it right. Then it all went down in slow motion. It's all over my shirt. Good thing <laughs> that I have to change often in a day. I've been like that since I was little, so.
<laughs> you guys see this, this coffee, <laughs> coffee mark? I've been like that since I was little. My mom used to do like our laundry. She was like perfect Mexican mom. We were clothes mm -hmm. is all aligned. So I used to change like five times in a day because that's how dirty I would get. Um, but it's the same way. Hmm? Your little one? Yeah, he is. <laughs> but his is more for fashion. He's such a Leo. Mm -hmm. If you guys are wondering, yes, Steph and I are going to eat all this salsa right now with our holiday planning. Yep, chewing it. We have a lot, uh, a lot of holiday stuff that we need to get done. So thanks to my husband for being a great father and and um, good man. Thanks, babe, for handling the babies. Mm hmm You know, might turn into use cantina for me. Mm hmm Bye, kids. Bye. Thank you.